Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do a new topic in the random variable and probability distribution section. The topic is the mean, the median, and the mode. So we're going to take data points now and we're going to learn how to read them, how to distribute them, how to graph them, how to do a histogram, how to find the mean, the median, and the mode. Alright, so let's first start out with the data points that we have. Notice they represent commuting times in minutes and see that from day to day the amount of time that it takes somebody to get to work will vary depending upon the traffic conditions, the lights and so forth. And let's say that we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 data points, meaning we have an odd number of data points which makes it easier to find the median and we'll see in just a moment why that is. If we have an even number of data points and the number is small, we'll have to do something special and we'll show you in the next example how to do that. So if you have 11 points, let's write those down here. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 points. What we're going to do now is we're going to order them from smallest to largest. So we go down the line here. We notice that 21 is the smallest. So we'll put that as number 1. Then 22. Do we have any 20? Yep, we have 122. All right. How about 23? There's one, there's two, there's three 23s. Okay, how about 24? We have one 24, we have another one, there's two 24s. Okay, how about 25? There's one and there's two, 25, 25. How about 26? I see one here. Okay, I don't have a 27, but I do have a 28. All right, so those are the 11 points that I have, some smallest to largest. One thing that I can do is I can graph them on a histogram, shows you how many times each one occurs, and I'll use bars to do that. So I'll use the number 21, 22, 27, and 28, like that, and then occurrence of 1, occurrence of 2, and occurrence of 3. And I'll draw little bars representing how many times each number occurs. So for 21, I only have one occurrence. I'll draw a bar of this height. For 22, I have one occurrence, so I'll draw a bar of this height. 23, there's three occurrences, so I'll draw a bar of this height. 24 has two occurrences. 25 has two occurrences. 26 has one occurrence. 27 does not occur, and 28 has one occurrence. So there you have, you have a nice histogram there, which shows you the distribution, the number of times each data point occurs, and it, you kind of have a feel for what's going on in a graphical sense. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get the mean. Now the mean and the average really mean the same thing. It's the average value. What is the average commuting time? And this is the mathematical way of writing that. It looks a little complicated, but if you take a look at it, it's not so bad. This Symbol right here means summation. You're going to add up a bunch of numbers. In other words, we're going to add up all the numbers. I is a subscript. So this would be x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, all the way to x sub 11. N represents the total number, the total quantity of data points that you have. So in this case, N is equal to 11 because you have 11 data points. So that represents the number of data points. And so this means that you're going to add them all up from the first one to the last one. Add them all up, and then you divide that number by the total number of data points you've got, which is 11. So when we add them all up, so that's the same. So what would this means is that this is equal to 24 plus 21 plus 23 plus 28 plus 23 plus 23 plus 25 plus 22 plus 25 plus 24 plus 26. And then you take the whole thing and you divide it by 11. Now here's a little trick. You can do this on the calculator or you can actually do it a little bit quicker. You can see that the average value is somewhere close to 5, right? So imagine that they're all 25. Well, 11 times 25 is 275. So this would be 275 plus or minus how far we were off from the average value or not the average value but the assumed average value of 25. So 24 is 1 less than 25 so I'm going to subtract 1. I'm subtracting 4 that's subtract 5 subtract 7 
add 3, that's subtract 4, subtract 6, subtract 8, subtract 11, subtract 12, add 1, subtract 10, so minus 10 divided by 11. So that's a quick way of adding those numbers together. So I pick a value like 25, every number that's smaller, however much smaller it is, I subtract, every, every time there's that much bigger, I add. So minus 1, minus, minus 12, and oh, I think I might have made a mistake. Let me try that again. Minus 1, minus 5, minus 7, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 11, minus 12, plus 1, that's minus 11. Aha! Good thing that I checked. So it's 275 minus 11 divided by 11. Now I'll grab a calculator. And I go 275 minus 11 equals, that's 264 divided by 11, and I get 24. So the average value of these numbers is 24. That's the average or that's the mean. That's how we call it. So the mean or the average is 24. So the average commuting time for this person is 24. How about the median? The median is the middle reading. Since there's 11 readings, the middle, the middle reading would be this one right here. So in this case, the median, the middle reading, is, happens to be the same as the average reading. Sometimes that happens, sometimes that doesn't. More often, it doesn't. So in this case, the middle reading is equal to 24. That's the very middle one. Typically speaking, that means that half of the readings have a smaller value than the median and half the readings have a bigger value than the median. Is if the median is close to the average or mean, that means that the distribution is somewhat even. It's not skewed to one side or the other. If the distribution is skewed to one side, then the mean and the, and the median are typically not the same. And we'll show you some examples of that. All right. Now the final thing is the mode. The mode is the value or the reading that appears the most. So notice, this appears once, once, three times, twice, twice, once, and once. The one that appears the most is the reading of 23, so that becomes the mode. The mode is the value that we see there that occurs the most, so in this case, that's 23. So this hopefully gives you a good feel for how to calculate or how to find the mean, which is the average, the median, which is the middle reading, and the mode, which is the value that occurs the most. In this case, the average and the median was the same value because the distribution was fairly even, and the mode is the value that appears the most, which is 23. You don't always have a clear winner, especially with small num quantities of data points, and it's sometimes not that easy to find the middle reading and we'll show you that, for example, when the number readings is even instead of odd, then what is the middle one? If there's 10 of them, which is the middle one? Is it the fifth one? Is it the sixth one? We'll show you what to do in that case on our next video. And that's how we find the average or the mean, the median, and the mode.